Welcome back to my Halloween Spooktacular. Hope you guys are having a lot of fun with this series this year. I am back talking about horror movies. I'm going to be talking about a movie I missed out on reviewing in 2016, and that is Lights Out. Rebecca must unlock the terror behind her little brother's experiences that once tested her sanity, bringing her face to face with a supernatural spirit attached to their mother. I honestly wasn't planning on reviewing Lights Out. I was going to review the autopsy of Jane Doe, which I'm still on, which I still plan on reviewing. And then that was going to be a little bit of a break from like the more 2010s era horror movies. But I rewatched Lights Out the other night and I decided I wanted to talk about it. Because for a PG-13 horror movie, Lights Out's actually not that bad. I think it's slightly underrated. Directed by David F. Sandberg, who obviously went on to direct Shazam. He honestly had a roadmap to what he wanted to do with Lights Out. I don't think he wrote the movie. I think Eric Heisserer came in and wrote that movie that was based off David F. Sandberg's short film Lights Out. So he may not have gotten every single idea he wanted to make if he made a feature length movie to Lights Out. The thing is, is that Lights Out is only 81 minutes with credits. It's really short. But I was actually surprised as to how creepy and at times scary this movie is. There's a couple of jump scares that legitimately got me. There's one where a kid gets pulled under a bed and I was just like, oh shit, I didn't expect that. Cause it's been a while since I have seen Lights Out. First time I saw it, I think I did the same thing. The idea that you have this entity that can only be seen when the lights are turned off and every time you turn it on, it disappears, but it keeps getting closer to you. That's something that I really loved. And I love the design of this creature, of this entity, when it was, when the lights were off. It was just a black silhouette with yellow eyes. That's what made it so much more scarier to me than, than actually showing the creature or the entity. Teresa Palmer is really good in this movie too. Surprisingly, I like a lot of the characters in this movie. I'll talk about the boyfriend character in a minute. Teresa Palmer's character, her character and her brother have such great chemistry on screen. You actually feel like there's a brother and sister relationship going on there. It's almost like she's a surrogate mother in a way because Maria Bello plays the mother and she's deemed crazy. And Teresa Palmer's character doesn't like that. She attempts to steal her brother away from their mother, but in a way, she also acts like a surrogate mother to her brother. And I thought that that was actually kind of charming. It was sweet. We don't really see that all that much in, in horror movies or, or in movies in general. Usually two siblings like that are bickering and bantering back and forth. But I was surprised with how much I connected with them. I don't even have an older sister. I have an older brother, that's it. I only have one sibling. So, I mean, I feel like if that were, if we were in their position, he would do the same for me. There's a few things in Lights Out that don't necessarily work. I think the ending is super rushed. This is, like I said, this is only 81 minutes with credits. It just feels like the way to beat this entity was just, they had to have a wrap up for the movie. They couldn't think of anything. So they just thought of the first thing that popped into their head and that's what happened. It feels rushed. It feels very abrupt. It's way too easy to take out this entity too. It's just kind of gone just like that. I like the idea that it has a connection to Rebecca's mother, but the way it goes out, I, just, I, I wasn't a fan of. Also, this boyfriend character is like the dumbest person ever. This movie, this movie, while it has good characters, it also has these characters make some bad decisions. This dude's just, he's all over the place. He's kind of pointless too. It's He's understanding of the situation. He understands where the little brother and Rebecca are coming from. And I actually like that. It wasn't it wasn't somebody making fun of the situation or making fun of the people and saying, "Oh my God, you you, you believe in ghosts? Like I can't believe it. Like you're you're being naive. You're being stupid." It wasn't like that. He completely understood what was going on. It was just when he was put in those situations where he had to battle the entity. I was like, "Dude, you suck, man. Like come on, <laughs> stop making terrible decisions." Like. There's a, there's a sequence, so minor spoilers for Lights Out. There's a sequence where Rebecca and her little brother are trapped in a basement. And this guy decides to just leave them there and get in his car and go away. I mean, luckily he went to go get the police, 
but he just drove off with them in the basement in total danger. What a dick butt. That's all I'm gonna say. With that being said, I do think Lights Out is still a very enjoyable horror movie, especially for its length. Like, this thing breezes by. I would say it's about like 73, 74 minutes without the credits. It breezes by. It offers enough entertainment value for a PG-13 horror movie. It's one of the better PG-13 horror movies out there, too. I'm gonna give Lights Out a B. There's just a few things that I didn't really like that kept me from giving it a higher grade, but I think it's an enjoyable movie, and I honestly wasn't going to talk about it, but I decided to, and I'm kind of glad I did, because I think it's a movie that's not talked about all that much in terms of horror and PG-13 horror. So have you guys seen Lights Out? What did you think about it? Drop me some feedback in the comment section below. I'll leave my link to my website in the description below. The weather was not cooperating with this review, so the rain was definitely bouncing off my air conditioner. Apologies if you hear that in the background. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I'll see you at the movies somewhere.